Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Jess and welcome back to One Year 365. Today we will discuss about theories about Stonehenge. Well, I said in the previous video, we will, you know, we would talk about Stonehenge continuing about the previous part either in tomorrow, which is today, or, you know, like um, a few days from then, right? But I guess it's just directly tomorrow, so yeah, which is actually today, but yeah. Anyway, we will, I guess we can just start. Um, I recorded this one right after the previous one, like, um, you know how this works, right? Like, uh, I only have like five days to make the entire week. Uh, of uh, this um, one year 365 so yeah there you go I this you know I prefer to do all of this stuff in one day so that the next day I can maybe make um, content about game maybe the next also I can make uh, about SCPs and then uh, something else as well right but yeah that's just how it goes um, every week I believe I would have to have um, like 14 videos because every day I will upload two videos um, and then that um, uh, and then it means that you know like uh, two videos every day it means 14 every week right so yeah um, and I can only do that in the course of five days uh, Monday to Friday because Saturday and Sunday um, everyone is at home uh, you know like even my siblings and um, their uh, spouse so yeah like um, the the house actually becomes a little bit too uh, what is it like um, the house becomes like crowded right um, and then that yeah like my dad will be in at, in my room and then um, you know, like my siblings will, you know, come into my room as well to go to the, uh, maybe doing laundry as well. And then they will, um, you know, put the clothes outside my room, right? So yeah, it's actually quite interesting as well, because, um, if you want to go, if, you know, like, um, going to the place to hang the clothes, um, we actually have to, you know, uh, go through my room first right so yeah i kind of don't want to um you know don't want people to interrupt me basically that's why anyway let's actually start about these theories about stonehenge um i already said in the previous part i think excuse me i think i will drink first i feel like a little bit um i'm burping um yeah, I don't know why, but um, anyway, um, I said my theory about Stonehenge that it was used in some sort of um, clock mechanism or time mechanism, basically thing that will tell you time, right? Um, and this is the one that will um, use the sun as well as its point of reference. So it will probably like a calendar for a year, right? So yeah, maybe there's that. Um, Anyway, um, yeah, like, I guess um, that's my uh, theory as to how they build this. Uh, I think my simple explanation is just that these big stones, um, big stone, I guess, um, they took it from, like, maybe a mountain or something like that. Um, and then they carve the stone into this rectangular shape, right? Not rectangular, but more like block shape right like yeah all these blocks basically right um yeah like cuboid basically not cube um and then how did they transfer um uh, it's actually quite easy it's using wheels as well um i believe people then already know about the concept of wheels um you know like basically a circular uh, object um can roll right basically i think um yeah, like, let's say they eat apples, right? And then, you know, they drop the apples, you know, from uh, a high place, and then the apple rolls down, right? So by that motion, I believe that right, they already, you know, figured that round objects can move, right? So, yeah, I think what I'm trying to say is that um, they carry these stones using those kind of uh, mechanism, which, use, you know, which involves around wheels, right? Basically, like... Um, maybe they use uh, logs, you know, like they will roll the uh, stones and yeah, like they gather it over here, right? 
um, as to how they you know make it stands I think um, um, okay so because I have never been here I would assume that they actually dig dig down the ground as well and then they kind of uh, like use like lever uh, make some sort of lever uh, contraption and then they bury like parts of the stones underground as well so like maybe 30% of the stone is you know like uh, underground right and then they bury the, that uh, ground around the stone so that the stone can stand still right so yeah maybe that's not the case i've never been to this place before uh maybe they just put you know literally the stone is just there right just chilling but i kind of doubt i think what's going on here is that they kind of dug the ground and then you know basically plant uh you know like uh put some percentage of the stones inside the ground right so that it stays uh, i think that's first uh, and then they use lever as well right um, secondly as to how they put it on top of this um, it's quite easy and simple first you will need a lot of these stones right so it will be placed over here and then you know like basically horizontal at the ground and then they will use the same uh, like wheel mechanism you know maybe using the logs and then they you know like make um, like a ramp and then they roll the log and the stone uh, into on top of each other right so they kind of make you know like stairs basically you know um, yeah like stairs right and then they um, you know the last step of the stair is this height of the stone at the top of her here right and then after they roll that to the top um and then they just basically just um you know flip it you know like topple it and then it will you know be on top of that like, like pressing right uh because of that as well you know because of that height that height i mean um the stone over here and because part of this also got planted underground so it will you know like it adds to the resistance right so that it will not topple off right you know it's not like it becomes a domino and then it will topple the whole thing right uh, i don't think so but yeah like also you can kind of see here as well like the length over here at the top um much longer than uh the stones that appears in vertical right so i don't think that's the case i think the case is that you know like i said some of this part of the stone is actually buried down underground right so you know basically all these stones they have the same uh, length um i think that's just my theory um and yeah, yeah they use some kind of uh, ramp or you know like stairs and ramps and then they roll up the this one over here and then they just put it over there like topple it right um and that's it that's done basically um that's that um yeah that's my theory about how they made this uh, mm. also by the way i know this might sound um unrelated but i actually smelled some some kind of rotten stuff in my room i'm kind of quite terrified now um it it smells like something is decaying like like um like something's rotting uh i know this this turns a little bit creepier that right um okay wait i'm trying to sniff first you know just kind of see if it actually only me like maybe i'm that smelly uh, but i t i don't think so like i I take a bath like I take a bath uh, every day. I shower every day, so I don't think it's me. Um, yeah, like it smells really strong. Like I smell like something is dying inside my room, and then that it's rotting. So it's quite creepy, honestly, because here in my urban folklore, um, if we uh, oh okay, there is this huge guy that actually place this but i don't think so uh i think my my theory is was you know like it's much more rational than that uh, anyway so yeah in my urban folklore 
if you randomly smell something rotten, you know, like from any source nearby you, but you cannot see where it's from, uh, it is actually a demon that is actually not demon, but more like, um, yeah, like I think demon or ghost and spirits and that, you know, like evil spirits that are actually around you and they are actually watching you right now. So I'm kind of scared that uh, if that's true, then there's, uh, I'm not alone, basically, there's someone else here that's watching me. Um, I do hope they don't understand English, so that I can basically uh, talk like this, and they they don't know what I'm talking about, hopefully, right? But yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna go off tangent uh, that way, maybe that will be like another discussion in the future as well, who knows, right? Um, Spooktober might end, but... Um, the spooky story never ends, right? Like, uh, I can always talk about scary, creepy stuff. Um, anyway. But yeah, I guess a giant helps Merlin build stone hands. That's just what people thought, right? Um, you know, like, yeah, like, this is the height, basically. Well, not really. This is 4 meters, right? Like, we know the height of this stone is only 4 meters, right? And, you know, this is basically already like 3 meters tall, man. I don't think so. Um, I think people back then is actually quite small. Um, so, yeah, this giant over here, even if it's true that giant helps, uh, you also need to know that this stone over here, the stone weighs like, um, uh, what was it again? Like 25 tons, right? Like 55,000 55, pounds. That's very uh, heavy, right? Um, even if you're a giant, like let's say you are double, you know, like uh, let's say you are quadruple your uh, height right now. Can you actually still lift uh, big stuff, you know? Uh, like let's think about it, right? Like maybe you have four times the muscle mass in your body. You have four times the height. You have four times the... Um, the you know like your weight right can you actually still you know only four times you will be able to lift more than a hundred times uh heavier than uh what you usually deadlift right let's say you can deadlift 200 pounds right so that will be like um 200 times you know like at, at least 250 times more than that right with only increasing your size by four times can you actually do that uh, physically speaking, I don't think so. So I don't think this is actually giants as well, because still this rocks is still heavy in its own. So yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, like people can believe that this is giants, but I'm not. I'm still stood with my theory about how they created this, right? Um, like they buried, like they buried this stuff underground, and then they use the stairs or the ramps to you know, like, move the stones to the top, and then they topple it, and then, you know, it's there right now, right? But, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, giants, okay, uh, transported, uh, had a giant build the structure for him, or that he had magically transported it from Mount Kilarus, right? Yeah, like I said as well, the stone is probably from nearby mounds, right? Uh, there's that, uh, how the devil responsible, I don't think so, I don't think this is something magical, I think this is, if anything can be explained in real life, it, it must be physics, right, um, it can always be explained by science, so, there you go, um, I don't believe it's giant, uh, let's see again, uh, truth and scientific evidence, truth sacrificing to the sun in their temple called a stone hands, uh, uh, 722, I mean, 1722 engraving of the site as imagined by William Stukley. Uh, the image is not loading up because my Wi-Fi has that exclamation point. But yeah, oh, okay, so this is that. Um, yeah, I guess we can also see how it looks like altar as well, right? Like we also said that in the previous video, I think, um, that we also talk about um, maybe the next layer will be much more bigger, right? Maybe they didn't finish the thing and that, that this, you know, is supposed to be like some kind of altar as well in the middle, right? But yeah. Um, I'm sorry, uh, 
the smell of the corpse or something rotten it's it gets stronger uh, i would probably have to call you know tell my dad about this and um have him like kind of search what's going on here it's kind of quite um it's quite the smells yeah it smells really bad like i said it smells like something is dying uh, something's dead and then that it is actually rotting um yeah starts to rot it's so bad right now um i would have to tell my dad about this i think uh, stonehands okay so this is that um yeah like um this the stones over here the size doesn't actually uh, uniform right um i think what happened here is that they uh got corroded over time probably like maybe you know like again like the weather right uh because of the weather probably they kind of um yeah like they got fragile and then they uh, breaks down broke down right but yeah uh radiocarbon dating uh of the site it indicates that the building of the monument at the site began around the year 3100 before century okay so radiocarbon is i think it used some kind of um what is it called again it's in physics as well um the uh, half time of atoms i believe um yeah like a trace of uh what is it called again ah oh, god radiation basically yeah like um every atoms kind of radiates their own radiation right and chemically speaking you can actually track down of how long um you know the half time right um of this and then so that you can actually kind of tell when this thing actually started so yeah it's either between physics and chemistry as well um so yeah um the theory that the druids were responsible may be the most popular one however the celtic society or celtic so that it does spawn the truth priesthood yeah like this is um summoning spawning uh truths to help i don't think that's the case as well um you know like uh you can say that in urban story you know like fantasy imagination like story for kids but you know like realistically speaking i will not believe this kind of story i still stand to my point that um you know how they created this thing over here uh, in the first place right they just use something that can rolls and then they create some kind of ramps or stairs and then they topple there and then they use some kind of lever um using other stones probably and then you know some of the stones uh you know got levered down into the holes right and then they buried that and then that's why it you know still stands until now right but yeah um that's my theory and i i think i still go through that uh, early references to stonehenge classical greek writer may refer stonehenge in a passage from his bibliotheca okay um in a land beyond the the celts or the cells there is an island no smaller than sicily uh northern sea called hyperborea uh, so named because it beyond the source of the north okay so anyway uh there's that uh, offerings and a spherical in shape uh, temple right um, sacred precinct of apollo and a notable notable temple which is adorned with many votive offerings and is spherical in shape uh, some writers have said that uh, great britain spherical temple may be an early reference of stonehenge uh, this may be stonehenge but the description is short and fake uh, discrepancies climate of hyperboreans so mild they grow to crops a year uh diodorous deception okay um yada yada um but, uh, okay so i got nothing out of this basically all right so yeah it doesn't actually say how they built that but yeah the blue stones okay here we go i think we mentioned about blue stones in the previous part as well uh, Bluestone Monument had earlier stood near the nearby Stonehenge and been moved to their current site from there. Uh, theory is correct, then the Bluestones may have been transplanted to cement an alliance or display superiority over a conquered enemy. Although this can only be speculation. Um, I don't think the Bluestones actually mean anything, um, I'm not sure. Uh, an awful shaped setting of Bluestone similar to those at Stonehenge 3 Ivy occurs at Pet Arthur. But that does not seem imply a direct cultural link. Uh, suggested that bluestone sedimentary sarsons 
had some symbolism of a union between two cultures, landscape, and therefore from different backgrounds. A uh, recent analysis um, indicated that some individuals with uh, three came either from Wales or from some European area. Okay, Stones has verified that some of them have come from Prisali Hills, but that okay, cause possibly okay. So that's the source of the stones. Uh, identified with dolerite outcrops around the Karn Go Dock, uh, Joe Dock, I think. What is that? Um, came from outcrops up to 10 kilometers away, composed of intrusive volcanic rock uh, that is harder than granite. Oh, okay, I see. I think what happened as well is that since they obtained these rocks from the mounds, what if the mound was actually volcanic, right? Like. Uh, maybe it was a dead volcanic and then they, you know, like they carve into the mountain grabbing these stones and they didn't realize that inside the stones there are lots of minerals, right? Um, and one of them will be gemstones, which is the, these blue stones, right? Um, maybe that's uh, the case here, right? Uh, but yeah, uh, okay. Um... Okay, okay, so people keep saying that it is from other place that got transported there, right? But yeah, like, I mean, you know, like, physically speaking again, I think it is just the minerals that is inside the rocks, potentially. Maybe when they crack open the mounds and then getting the stones, they, you know, unintentionally crack um, minerals, right? Like, you know, the gemstones, the blue stones, right? And they thought that it was shiny, it was beautiful might as well put that as decoration in the actual altar or building or whatever the stone hands was supposed to be right i think that's what happened here uh but yeah although then again that's just my opinion right i'm not an archaeologist i'm not a geologist um i'm not a physicist even i'm not chemist uh, although i'm kind of engineer uh but yeah i guess um I don't know, I still kind of thought how this works, right? Maybe because I have engineer engineering background, that's why I can come up with all these sorts of, you know, like, things that physically possible, right? But, yeah, that's just me, though. Uh, I might be wrong. Most likely, I will be wrong, but, yeah. Anyway, there's that um, as part of ritual landscape, so it's some kind of altar, then. Uh, attempt to render in permanent stone the more common timber structure that dotted. Okay, anyway, uh, I will skip most of this until I found something interesting. They have argued that Stonehenge was the terminus of a long ritualized funerary procession for treating the dead. Um, also, that might be possible, right? Maybe this whole thing is just an altar. Um, again, just to ask for the god, probably the sun god as well, right? Like, you know, like they make this shrine. Um, and then the pillars, the stones will cast the shadows and it will make beautiful form of shadows. And then they kind of basically offer this kind of stuff to the sun god probably, right? Uh, I don't know, like maybe it's not sun god, maybe it's like um, moon god, I don't know, right? Whatever, basically. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that maybe this is some kind of altar and then we know that uh, there are lots of mounds, right? Like burial mounds nearby this area um, i don't know if people already dug out this area or not but um so yeah i cannot confirm right maybe if they haven't maybe there's you know if they did maybe there's a lot of skeletal remains underground uh, about this but probably right um and then you know just basically proving that this is actually a cemetery a funeral um altar uh burial land or uh um, graveyard, whatever you want to call that, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, basically, there's that. Um, anyway, let's say again, construction techniques and design. Okay, so here we go. Uh, attention to the fact that the stones display mirrored symmetry and that the only undisputed alignment to be found is that of the solstices, which can be regarded as the axis of that symmetry. Um, okay, so it basically symmetry upon one axis or more, right? Um, and then that um, the symmetry of the entire thing, the building, um, has some sort of symmetrical appearance towards one or more of the axis, right? Uh, okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. 
they're just talking about I guess um, yeah this is basically talking about the design of the structure right okay uh, ball bearings in a wooden track as originally envisioned by uh, okay so yeah uh, I guess this is what I thought as well right they use some sort of wheel mechanics right mechanism basically um, things that can roll and then you can place something on top of it and then you can just roll the entire thing easily right so maybe that's the case here um, again like you know like let's think it uh, simply right let's think about it uh, as simple as we can um, so you know using that I I would just say that you know they use some kind of wheel mechanism basically like this person over here said and yeah um, they arranged for a gang of 130 people to attempt to tow a 40 ton concrete replica on a sledge which was placed on wooden track they used grease to make it easier uh, slide inclined they still were unable to budge it um, well um, yeah, because you did it wrong, I think, because you didn't build the the holes in the ground as well, you know? Maybe like some, like I said, like maybe some parts of the stones are actually buried underground as well, right? Um, so yeah, if you have the holes in the ground, you don't have to lift it up, uh, you can just lever it. And then, you know, just let the gravity, you know, it will slide into the hole, right? And then it will stand still by its own, right? Um, so yeah, maybe um, that's the case here. Maybe people didn't actually think about this, or maybe they have. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, after a lot of experiment, they were able to erect two megaliths using a large number of people, towing and using levers. They also managed to tow the lintel up a steel ramp. Uh, yeah, like a ram as well, right? Um, they were unable to determine this was the final answer, but they demonstrated that it was a possible method. Yeah, that's just what I thought as well, right? They just basically think about it simply, right? They just used a uh, lever mechanism, they just used ramps, they used wheels, and that's about it, um, really, right? Uh, but yeah. Uh, experiment to pull a two-ton stone and wooden tracks, 16 men, 16, I mean, uh, place the stone on a wooden sledge, uh, wooden track, pull this with two gangs of about eight men, to move the stone as many miles across, uh, okay, with, would have had to build a lot of track, or move and rebuild track in pieces as the stones were taken to their final destination. Okay, so this one, they basically said that it would be kind of impossible, but it's still possible uh, to travel, you know, like, to travel this thing, but it will need, requ uh, you know, it will require a lot of resource, right? Just from the site or the source of the material into the site, right? So, yeah, that's actually interesting as well. Um, okay. Mm. Yeah, there's that, I guess. Lee Lines, what is this? What is Lee Lines? Appear to be in alignment with various traditional sacred sites around the country. Oh, okay, so they just... Um, like they basically like um, you know like you know the symmetry part like maybe there is uh, a certain direction if you draw lines it will connect to other places uh, to the earth right but also remember that again the land back then you know 5000 ago was different from the land today right like I said, maybe even only centimeters, only meters in, you know, difference, but they still make difference, right? So I don't think they necessarily um, see this towards all the places entire earth as well. Like, uh, okay, think about it this way. Uh, back then, the ocean is already water, right? And how do they travel around the world in its own, right? I don't think that's, uh, you know, like a... You know, like, let's say you and me, we could travel entire, the, you know, uh, travel by foot uh, the entire world, right? And then we somehow still remember where things are placed. And then, um, you know, we place, you know, we place, we map the, the site to, so that we have certain phase of our buildings to face towards the stuff. Uh, the destination that we thought, right? That, you know, like, uh, that we probably already forgot where it was, right? I don't think this is the case back then. So, it's probably just coincidence. Um, 
you know like i said as well maybe this is just uh, simply because of the uh, the sun right uh like the ca- the sun casting shadows and stuff like that i guess um it doesn't really necessarily have to be with um relationship between other things you know structures around the world as well because for one they will need uh, lots of travels um there's no cars there's no airplanes back then so it would need a lot of time uh, and then second they don't have any sort of stuff to record uh, let's say like today i walk to the um i don't know to the china right and then i see oh, oh that's actually a very um beautiful sorts of hills right and then i travel back to my side um you know like in my side somehow magically i still remember where the location you know where the direction of the chinese uh, beautiful hills were probably right um uh, like you know that's just impossible right like um uh yeah to the east to the west but they don't even know what is east what is west just yet so yeah um i don't think the direction actually has something meaningful i might be wrong again i'm not archaeologist i'm not a historian i'm not um geologist i don't know but you know like i'm just thinking as engineer you know like and en- my engineering background right um i don't think this is the case i think you see it too far away um you know if you want to approach some stuff think about it you know like um um simply first right and then you add more complexity into it but you know the base thing the base thinking you will need to think about it simply as well and i think that's all of this yeah i think that's the end of the page uh anyway it's almost you know like again 30 minutes as well but yeah maybe more than that actually i think uh but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoy it let me know down below about what your theory is about stonehenge um first how they build this second uh what they use this structure for right yeah let me know down that's just only two questions uh personally for you right uh, do not gain any knowledge from others just use your own um thinking right like if you if you're about to build this kind of stuff you know think what you need it for and how you will achieve in building this stuff right so yeah let me know down below what you're thinking but um i think that'll be it for today's discussion uh, i really enjoyed this one uh tomorrow we'll discuss about something else as well still the same as structures uh, i already have the lists of topics that i want to talk about stone structures uh, throughout the world um but yeah Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow with another discussion. Stay safe, healthy. I will see you again very soon, and see ya.